Hey, little baby. It's October the 15th, 2016. All right, and it's your mother's birthday. Don't think I ever forget that, man. Uh, happy birthday to her. She just turned 30. All right, that's awesome. But like I said, it's October the 15th, 2016. It's been quite some time since I've made a video, at least a couple weeks. In short, I've been kind of slacking, all right? Uh, there's a shit ton of stuff to go over as far as current events and things and lessons to be learned. I've been slacking. I'm sorry about that, but that's what I tend to do. But I'm back right now. First off, I want to tell you that I do plan, hopefully, to put together a, a firm podcast, a, a sturdy podcast a regular one um pretty soon i mean it has to be done all right and it'll have much better audio than this i mean the audio on all my videos is terrible it, it really is it's the worst of the worst i understand that i want to get a mic and stuff make it a little bit easier but until then it is a thing i was inspired today right now um, to make this video, I want to go over a lesson with you. And this is a lesson that I know, that I know ain't nobody going to teach you. Except for me, perhaps Jesus in the Bible. Alright, uh, so, but I want to go over it with you. First off, let me explain uh, this. I, I am personally uh, currently in a relationship. Something of a relationship with a girl or I mean a young woman uh yeah I know that came out of left field here's the thing it's been years multiple years uh since I had anything to do with the girl understand uh, that terrifies me it makes me very anxious uh it's scary it's a scary thing I don't I mean that's not what I've been looking for at all but you know what see the thing is God will put stuff in your life a, a good thing and if you don't take advantage of them guess what you're spitting in the face of God right so I'm not gonna do it all right so I've developed and it's still in the early stages uh, a relationship with a girl here in Big Spring all right I'm not gonna mention her name at all uh, because Big Spring is a small town and stuff and I would like to go ahead and keep it a secret it's just between you and me all right um, Met a girl. Here's the thing, and I want to explain this to you. Aside from you, this is the most attractive girl I've ever seen in my life. In my life, all right. So there's certain ways that God will let you know, like, all right, this is it. All right, here it is. Don't you fuck this up, all right? Please don't fuck this up, all right. So. Uh, I, I had to realize that I've made mistakes in the past, all right? Um, and simple mistakes, mistakes that I, I never knew were mistakes. In fact, I was taught to make these mistakes. I was taught to sabotage myself. I was taught to sabotage relationships uh, that I have with women, all right? So now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the complete opposite of that. I'm going to go ahead and do the complete opposite of what I've been taught to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the Bible's lead. Or, you know, I'm going to go ahead and let Jesus direct me in my path. And here's one thing. Here's what inspired me to make the video. Here's the lesson ain't nobody going to teach you. All right? And most people, if people see this video, most people ain't going to understand it. I'm sorry about that. I know that if you see this video at first, you are not going to understand it. But that's, I mean, that's beside the point. Eventually, you're going to understand it. Eventually, you're going to understand I'm giving you uh, some of the keys to success. All right, so let me get into it. All right, this girl who I've come to know and care a lot about, she has friends. Now, people, hopefully most people are going to have friends. That's all right. It's a good thing to have friends. She has friends, though. And like I said, this is an early stage of our relationship. And I try to be as very, uh, I mean, you know, I don't want to brag on myself, but I try to show her that I care a lot. I care more than anybody else that she knows. And I do this actively. 
any chance that I get. But here's at the same time, like I said, she has friends. And I've met one or two of them, and she has a lot of them. And what I wanted to make sure to tell her, to let her know, and what, and what is a formula for success, is this. I don't like none of your friends. I don't trust none of your friends. Period. The end. All right? And I'll let her know that. Now, that's the part where people are going to get all messed up. People are going to think, oh, man, you, you, you want to control this girl's life? You want to dictate? I'm not dictating a dang thing you do or she does. Uh, I'm not doing any of that. But I'm being very honest with her in that I do not like her friends, not even a little bit. And even if they were cool and stuff, pfft, I don't need to know them. I don't want to know them. I don't trust them. Not even a little bit. And I let her know this. Now, the reason I done this and the reason I figured this out is because I done the exact opposite, say, with your mother. Right? We were married. Right? I gave it my best shot, but in the truth, I made a lot of mistakes. A shit ton of mistakes. And that's because I didn't know no better. Right? So, your mother, she had a lot of friends. And I'm sure she still has a lot of friends. Right? And, and being like compromising I guess in a way even though I never really liked any of her friends I would pretend to like them I would pretend to welcome them in or I mean I would welcome them in I would just pretend that I that I found them to be good people when I did not at all all right and eventually this wound up biting me in my ass hard all right because when the relationship was uh just far gone it was way too far gone at the point where you know your, your mother was deciding Shh, I don't want nothing to do with this man at all and it's, at all I don't want to see him or talk to him or speak to him ever again when this was uh, when the wheels were turning in her brain to start doing this it was those very friends who, who were there to encourage that choice and that behavior and that's exactly what they did. And that's exactly what they'll do every time. Every single time. Especially if, if that woman happens to be attractive. They will do it every single time. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And like I said, I mean, you, you are extremely attractive. So you're going to have friends. And they are going to want to sabotage your relationship. That's, that's whether or not it's conscious or subconscious, they're going to do it. Period. They're going to do it. Right? That's, that's just human behavior. And so I let her know. I let this, this girl... Well, I have a fresh start with now. I'll let her know, guess what? I don't want to have nothing to do with your friends, not anything. All right. And, uh, you know, given some time, you know, she might uh, have to go ahead and choose. Uh, well, I mean, it's not to say that she can't have friends. It's just she might have to choose, who do I want to be hanging around with? This, this man here who cares about me more than anyone else that I know. Do I want to be around him or do I want to be around my friends all day? Who, who honestly don't give, they really do not care. When it comes to the end game, I mean, when when things get rough, real rough, your friends, my friends, are gonna leave. Period, and I won't even be able to blame them. Of course, they're gonna leave because they have their own families to worry about. Right? It's not something like, oh, I'm mad at you because you're gonna leave. No, yeah, you're supposed to leave. You're all you are is a friend. All right. So I let her know. Guess what? Plain and simple don't like him, don't trust him, all right? And either she's going to choose actively to spend more time with me or she's going to do the, the other, she's going to go the other way. Either way, I nip that right straight in the bud, all right? I'm not playing around, like, for years and stuff, trying to, uh, you know what I'm saying, placate your friends and all that and try and pretend I, like I like them when I don't because I don't. Truthfully, the relationship between one man and one woman is always, always 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 forever and ever and be well more important than a person and their friend and see that's something that society ain't ever going to teach you in fact they're going to teach you the exact opposite and what's going to lead to is failure now i'm speaking from a man's perspective uh, to a lady but you know it is it's a two-way street you are a lady you, you meet your man or whatever the one you want when you find the one that you want that god place before you when it's completely obvious that he done this what I'm telling you to do is I want you to tell that man hey your friends I don't give a I don't give a dang about them at all I don't trust them I don't like them 
right? I like you. I care about you. I want to. I want to start a relationship with you, with with the man that you're meant to be with. But guess what? Uh, your friends, mm -mm, not at all not at all and and believe me when i'm telling you that is the path to success most people 99.6 percent of people in the world are going to do the exact opposite they're going to they're going to try and pretend uh like friends matter and they don't i mean here's the thing friends do matter and they're cool and everything but guess what it's not what's important it never will be it never will be so anyways that's what i wanted to express to you all right and like i said Hopefully a podcast will be turning up and stuff. I know it's been a long time. Uh, and sh and shit's popping off. We are in the tribulation. It's currently bad and it's gonna get worse. It brings me no joy to say that, but it, that's the stone cold truth of it. Alright, so so you you have to... And here's another lesson, but I'll, I'll cover it later. You have to live for today. You have to live in today because guess what? Tomorrow's never ever going to come. And yesterday, that's already passed. Tomorrow ain't never going to come. You got to live for today. But we're going to we're gonna discuss that uh, probably in the next uh, video or the, my, my next letter. Uh, it's October the 15th, 2016.